Michael, you have a brand new art studio going on here in town. Not just any art studio, it's kind of a special one. Do you want to tell us a little about it? Yes, we started Jump the Moon Art Studio. It's a studio specially designed to meet the needs of people uh, that have disabilities. And uh, it's for artists of all abilities, but we have some very specialized equipment and things that we're doing that make it especially accessible for anybody who has a physical challenge. Do you have, do you have people with non-physical uh, challenges coming in as well? Yes, we have a full range of artists with all sorts of abilities, from professional to those who would like to be professional. And, uh, and we get, we get all kinds of different artists in there. So what are some of the special equipment that you've got to help people? One of my favorites, I almost drove it down here, was, is uh, we have several wheelchairs that have been designed to paint with. And so what? <laughs> that sounds that sounds fabulous actually. Tell us about that. They're really fun. They're power chairs and they have accessories and things uh, put on them that make it so that uh, artists can paint big canvases on the floor. Just by rolling over it. Right. They just drive over it and sometimes the wheel tracks show up in the paintings, but I like that because it tells a little bit of the history of the art, how it was made. Um, and it's hard to paint little things with a wheelchair with a power chair, so uh, some of our artists that use those are painting very large paintings, 12 foot by 9 foot pieces that they do on the floor. Let's hope they sell for thousands and thousands, right? Yeah, that's the plan. A lot of the artists that come to us have always wanted to be a professional artist and be able to make a living or make money with their artwork, but they've never had the studio or the mentorship or the supplies or the equipment to be able to do that. So we provide uh, the, a beautiful space and the equipment and the mentorship and everything that they'll need to be able to succeed with their art. It just sounds fabulous. Uh, what a dream come true for some people, I would think. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Michael. What brought you to this? You're a professional artist. Yes, I've been a professional artist for more than 30 years. I lose track. <laughs> I've also been teaching high school art for the past 10 years. I taught at Mountain Crest High School and now I teach at Ridgeline High School. In all of my teaching at the high school, um, every, every semester, every trimester, there will be uh, students that have disabilities. And I was frustrated because I could see that art would help them. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to express and to, um, to be able to communicate. And yet, uh, when we have a class of 40 kids sometimes, and I have somebody that has a disability, I might get five minutes a day with them. So about five years ago, I started dreaming about a place where we could spend a lot more time and invest a lot more energy into unlocking their abilities. Everybody has something they're good at. Yeah. And, and sometimes it's a, a little bit more of a challenge to find what that is. But this studio gives us the space to really explore and try some things and unlock their abilities and let them uh, achieve with their own artwork. Okay. So this is a great way to uh, reach people who want to come and participate in the actual art. But you need other people too, don't you? Do you need volunteers, uh, donations if you want to donate to a good cause? Tell us about that. Yes, uh, we've already got quite a few volunteers. Uh, Conservice has, has got about 25 people that have, we've put through some training so they'll be able to be qualified to work with people with special needs and um, but we can use more. Uh, it's growing really fast. We've only been in that in the, the old Miller Glass building for about four months but it looks like we've been there two years and um, it's growing really fast and the need for donations is also really need or, or needed. Um, it's an expensive place. Um, people have pointed out to me you'd be probably better off to be in a warehouse somewhere that's very inexpensive. Um, but for me, the, the people that we serve are so important that I want them front and center in the community. I don't want them pushed off to the side or into the background. I want them right here on Main Street. So it's expensive to do that, so any help anybody can give us. I'm a full-time volunteer for the last five years myself on this, and uh, I'm just so excited about it. it I love it. So um, you brought some things down to show us today, Michael. Can we have a look at what you brought? Yeah, you bet. Okay. Up here. Okay, so here's the quick story behind this. Uh, we have been getting a lot of donations of art supplies, okay. and we seem to get a lot of crayons. I okay. had lots and lots of crayons, right. 
And for a lot of people uh, that we work with, holding a crayon is not easy. Uh, their hands just, it's, it's yeah, difficult. Yeah. So I started thinking about how can we use these crayons in interesting ways and make it a little easier to hold. And so we've started inventing things. And this is one of my favorites right now. We're calling these doodle bells. They look like a dumbbell. Right. Um, but it's crayon. And we're also using, like, repurposing things. So that one's a pool cue uh, that was broken that we cut up. Um, yeah. Stair bell. Oh, this is a croquet, part of a croquet set. <laughs> Here's the, and so we're getting fun names for them. This, this is a mama doodle bell. Okay. And this is a papa doodle bell. So how do they work? That's huge. Yeah. You'd need to be this quite strong about, to hold that. It's about four or five pounds. So how, do you, how do they work? How do you use them? Uh, you can just draw with it. So it, it's easier to hold on to, okay. and you're drawing two lines at once. And also, it's like a whole box of crayons in one thing. So if you turn it this way, you're drawing orange. Here, you're drawing blue and purple. Okay, so I'm with you. Yeah. With one tool, you can make a lot of, a lot of interesting lines. Yeah. And oh, let me reach back here. They don't look like they don't look like crayon drawings. So the drawings made with those, and the reason they look like this is because we've also found out that if you put your paper on a warming tray, there's these old warming trays. They don't get hot enough to burn you, but they're they're warm enough to melt crayons. And you put these on the warming tray, and it kind of melts them. And then they're really slippery, and they slide around, and it's more like painting. Than drawing That's fantastic. With that looks just exact yeah. modern art nice. kind of thing. Beautiful, beautiful art with these, yeah. and we're really excited with the possibilities. We've got a lot of people that are having a lot of. Fun. So this is literally crayon. This is literally wax crayon. Yeah. We just we take the paper wrappers off the crayons and melt them down and and re reform them into other things. Here's one that has a heart shape, and that's a hockey stick. And then we're trying, we're experimenting with other forms too. Here's a crayon toad <laughs> that you could draw with. And these are called wing doodles. And uh, we've actually started figuring out a packaging on those. Oh what we'd like to do is not just use them at our studio, but get them into um, special education departments all over the oh, place. What a so fantastic that, idea. So that they have better tools, better drawing tools right. to work with. So we'll be developing a lot of different products down there with what wow. we do. I would never in a million, of course, you're the artist and I'm not. I would never have thought about doing something like that. You, it makes it more Horses, fun. sheep, different kinds you of could. shapes. The idea, though, is they're easy to hold. Okay. We're making things that are a lot easier to hold, and uh, and turns out when you draw on a heated surface, you just make this beautiful art. And that's just one tiny thing we're doing down there. We've got so many fun, different ways. It's not like any place you've ever seen before. It certainly sounds it. It sounds awesome. New stuff. <laughs> right. And you guys are so inventive to to do these fantastic things. Uh, jump the moon, right? Yeah. yeah, Jump the Moon Jump. Foundation. Um, we're a nonprofit and uh, located right here in Logan, uh, 553 North Main. And um, come down and check us out. Have a go on those crayon things. I want to go on those. <laughs>